Hi everyone. Hello, 大家好。Uh, so the, today we're continuing with uh, Prince Andrew, chapter four. Chapter four. Yeah, and we know that Prince Andrew is very different from his wife, and but we need to find out a little bit more about him. Uh, Prince Andrew screwed up his eyes and turned away. Pierre, uh, so what's it? Well, before we go there, so what's he turning away from? From his wife. From his wife's suggestion as well, right? From his wife's suggestion. Yeah. So we need to talk about his wife and he, right? Do we need to talk about it? No, we need to find out what he's doing. What is he doing? He basically、uh, screwed his eyes, like made his eyes kind of small or whatever, and then、S、turned away. Screw I mean means make eyes small. Yeah. Just go down. What else can you do with your eyes? I don't maybe, know. Maybe like this, look up or something. That's screwed. I don't know. I would just say make your eyes kind of small, or、mm. maybe go and just like look up a little bit. Like look to the side a little bit, whatever. That could be kind of screwed. Screwed up.、Yeah. Screwed up his eyes and turned away. Pierre, who from the moment Prince Andrew entered the room had watched him with glad, affectionate eyes, now came up and took his arm. Whoa! So Pierre seems to know Prince. So、Andrew. wait, wait. What does it mean? Pierre. Pierre. So what's the construction on this? Okay, so、sentence? forget about the who, whatever.、Yeah. Came up and took his arm. That's a main sentence. Pierre, Pierre came, came up, up and, and took, took his, his arm. arm.、Right. Took who? Um, took the Prince Andrew's Andrew,、yeah. Andrew's arm. Oh, okay. So just the who describes Pierre.、So、Pierre, okay. Pierre, who, who was like watching Prince Andrew since he entered the room. So. Oh, for a moment. Had watched him. Well, who? And then you have to break it. Ah.、Uh, who had watched him with glad, affectionate eyes? That's the main. That's the main phrase there. It means Pierre had watched. Who had watched him with Andrew with、yeah. glad. Affectionate eyes. eyes. Right, yeah. And then the from is about when he began watching him. Oh, from the moment Andrew entered the room. Yeah. Right. Oh,、uh, okay. Before he looked around, Prince Andrew frowned again. Frowned.、Uh, frown. You know, just give that、uh, frown, right? Frown, Here. Frown look. Yeah. What frown look mean? Look,、like、I'm doing now. Frown. Uh, 皱眉头 Yeah, frowned again,、oh. expressing his annoyance with whoever was touching his arm. So, he frowned because、yeah. Pierre came and took his arm. So、okay. now he frowned, expressed annoyance. So he's annoyed that whoever was touching his arm. So he expressing a a noise. Yeah. His he his noise with whoever. Oh, he don't want anybody touch yeah, his yeah, arm. Yeah, let's go. But when he saw Pierre's beaming face, he gave an unexpectedly. Unexpectedly kind and a pleasant smile. So when he saw Pierre's face,、mm. he gave him a kind and pleasant smile. So that's very different from the Andrew we know, because only only to Pierre he kind of smiles. Nobody else get any smile. Not his wife. Not anybody in the room. Yes. Just because、Pierre. he he kind of boring with the、know. party. So what the beaming face mean? Same thing. We have like、uh, like there's so much light related stuff. Mm. Again, I think we saw beaming before because the kind of like a flashlight, you're shining somewhere,、so、it's like light,、mm. flashlight, you know. Yeah, so it's beaming. His beaming face means his face is coming, shine, lights coming out of his face. <laughs>、okay. There now, so you two are in the great world," said he to Pierre. So you two means you, Pierre, are are, are in the great world. Because who knows where、uh, Pierre went? He went somewhere maybe to study. So now he's back again in society, great world. So great world means society. The Anna's just whatever. It, no, it doesn't have to be great world. Just means like Pierre was somewhere small, studying.、Oh. Now he's come back out. That's what that oh, means. Oh, okay.、Real、I、work. knew you would be here," said Pierre. "I will come、Replied、to supper、Pierre. with you," replied Pierre. I will come to supper with you, may I? He added in a low voice, so as not to disturb the vicomte who was continuing his story. What is what is supper mean? Take supper, eat supper,、huh? dinner. Supper. Yeah. I will come to supper with you, Pierre said. Yeah. He come to supper with Andrew. Yeah. May I? Is a may question. May I? Oh. He added in a low voice so as not to disturb the vicomte. So he was vicomte still talking. These guys、um, are just talking low voice. So Pierre just talk with、yeah. low voice. Okay. No, impossible," said Prince Andrew, laughing and pressing Pierre's hand to show that there was no need to ask a question.、Huh? Basically, he said, 
No, you can't. But it's kind of just joking. Of course you can. Oh, how you know? Because laughing. But because no, it says there. Because laughing and pressing Pierre's hand show to show, show that there's no need to ask a question. There's no need to ask, may I? Of course you can come. Oh, okay. He wished to say something more, but at the moment, Prince Vasily and his daughter got up to go and the two young men rose to let them pass. Okay, so he means he, Andrew. Andrew. He wanted to say something more, but then, and then uh, Vasily and his daughter... So... Oh, needed. so so they rose and they they stand they up. They probably sitting down uh, while they rose and let them pass. Yeah. Okay. You must excuse me, dear Vincent," said Prince Vasily to the Frenchman, uh, holding him down by the sleeve and in a friendly way to prevent his rising. So he's so Th this Prince Vasily says, "Excuse me, I have, uh, excuse me, dear Vincent." Dear Vincent. He doesn't. He he hold him down. Me. He doesn't say Vincent. Don't need to rise. Oh, uh, okay. Hold his sleeve in a friendly way to prevent his rising. This unfortunate fat at the ambassador deprives me of a pleasure. And obliges me to interrupt you. I'm very sorry to leave your enchanting party," said he, turning to Anna Pavlovna. So, um, so says that he has to go to this party we talked about before. His his daughter came to pick him up. Right? So this unfortunate fat party, party at the ambassador. Uh, ambassador deprives me. Deprive. We we had a deprive just previously, right? Takes me away from your. Yeah. Whatever. Take me away from uh, being. Pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, obliges me, makes me. So it's kind of like goes together. You deprive me, um, and now he's ob uh, and obliges me, makes me, makes me interrupt you. Interrupt you. I'm very sorry to leave your enchanting party," said he. Enchanting means you are. We had enchanted forest. We don't really chant enchanted before, like magical. I told you before. Uh, enchanted like an enchanted forest full of magic or whatever enchanting party kind of same thing mm, magic party we had enchanted before a charming party yeah charming yeah yeah similar yeah enchanting yeah said he turning so, so to Anna wait, Pavlovna wait wait oh, by the sleeve yeah sleeve, sleeve 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 is a verb or no no it's what what a piece sleeve this is a sleeve clothes you have a sleeve Sleep, Joram. Huh? Jo anywhere here, anywhere. Like here, could be here, anywhere in the cloth. Uh, holding the bum yeah. by the sleeve. Sl it's a noun, right? Yes. Holding him down by the sleeve. Your friendly way. Okay. Mm. okay. His Can daughter, you? Prince mm. Elaine, passed between the chairs, holding, lightly holding up the folds of her dress, mm. and the smile shone still more radiantly. On her beautiful face. Radiantly? Yeah. Again, light. So ah. Pierre has beaming. She has radiant, coming full of light. <laughs> Pierre gazed at her with rapturous, almost frightened eyes as she passed him. Uh, rapture, kind of like uh, eye-opening. Like make him, make him like feel a different world. That's kind of like rapture. So he, he, he was... Rapture is a noun or adjective. Well, you tell me, with rapturous, almost frightened eyes. Oh, adjective. Yes, talking about the eyes. Pierre gazed. Gazed, yeah. Look at her, means yeah. With a rapturous... Yeah, almost frightened... Almost frightened eyes, eyes as, as she, she passed, passed him. him. Mm. You mean rapture means a big, very uh, no, short? No, rapture. Rapture short? means like almost... Normally we talk about rapture, some big event in the world. Like something happened and then you... You um, everything changes from mm. that point. It's kind of, that's kind of like rapture. It, it like you can think of like breaking things, rapture. So it's like breaking new things or whatever, rapturous. Oh. Yeah. So um, very lovely," said Prince Andrew. Very," said Pierre. Okay. Um, in passing, Prince Vasily seized Pierre's hand, and said to Anna Pavlovna, "Educate this bear for me." See. I said he was a bear. Prince Valis says he's you a bear. You already know. I did not know. You read it before. No, I don't remember <laughs> this. Prince Valis says, Educate this bear for me. He has been staying with me a whole month. And this is the first time I have seen him in society. Nothing is so necessary for a young man as the society of clever women. What does he so mean? So he says, Please teach him. Teach this so, bear no, for no. me. So, so, so Prince Valis seized the peer's hand. Yeah, he, he took his hand. And took, said, took his hand and said to Anna, Anna, educate this bear for me. So Pierre will listen, will hear. What do you mean? Of course he won't know what Prince Vasily... Okay, you, you, okay. you have to hold on. 
First, he took Prince Pierre's hand. Yeah. Told Anna, please educate your despair for me. Next, he said, he, Pierre, has been staying with me a whole no, month. Wait, wait, huh? wait. So, when, when Vasily say, educate this bear for me, yeah. so Pierre is beside him? Yes, he's but holding how, his hand. how can he say bear? So it doesn't matter. It will he's make a, him he's, very angry, who right? Who cares? He's a big guy. What, what? He's a big guy. I mean, he's fine. So he, he can behind Pierre say, "Please, no, not behind. In front of, in front, in front of Pierre. Yeah, it's not. It's kind of like you can think of a bear is not such a bad thing in Russia, right? It's bear a, is not bad thing. No, bear is like uh, one of the most uh, uh, loved animals in Russia. <laughs> Okay, but bef- but after not not in front of Pierre, right? He has been s- no every time everything's in front of him, nothing to hide. Why is it? Why does uh, Prince Vasily? He has been staying with me a whole month, so Pierre has been staying uh, with him. Yeah, and this is the first time I see him. So this is the first time he's seen me uh, in like in this the group. society. Uh. And he says it's very necessary, very important for a young man mm. uh, to be in the society of clever woman, to be next, to be with clever woman. Well, the only clever woman I've seen is Anna. I, don't, I haven't seen any other clever woman. So, but, okay. So, what is nothing is so blah, blah, blah. Nothing, is as, not as, nothing as, as important for a young man as being in the, as being together with clever woman. What does as mean? As. Like, um, example? What does as mean? So, I don't know the It's a comparison. Compare. Nothing is so important as. Oh, nothing is so important, important as that's a construction, right? As. Nothing is more important than. I means none. Than. A oh, non necessity yeah. of a clever woman. Right. Okay. Okay. We're done. No, let's read Anna. Oh, oh. Okay. Anna Pavlovna smiled and promised to take Pierre in hand. Okay. Okay. She knew his father to be a connection of Prince Vasily's, so he know that Pierre's father oh. know Prince Vasily. That's why Prince Vasily. Uh, Pierre, Pierre, stay Pierre, with yeah, yeah, yeah. The elderly lady who had been sitting with the old aunt rose hurriedly and overtook Prince Vasily in the ante room. Ante room. So there was, there was an older lady saying, yeah. I don't yeah. know why. This oh, oh, what the overtook mean? She, she basically took him. Like Overtook means he c- caught up to him. Okay. And then go to the... Ante room, some other room. Ante room, oh. All the affectation of interest she had. Can we keep going? What affectation mean? Uh, let's keep going. Uh, of interest she had assumed had left her kindly and tear-worn face, and did now express only anxiety and fear. Okay, let's go back. So affectation of um, all the affectation. Mm-hmm. Uh, affectation just means like, you know, affect, right? Yeah. So affectation is just whatever she, whatever mood she was in. Whatever, whatever what? Um, whatever kind of. Tone, uh, mood, mood uh, face, face. She was assuming the mask. Remember, assume a mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever things that she was of interest, whatever all the affectation of interest. That is all the things that um, uh, related to interest, right? She had related to interest. Yeah, she had, she had uh, assumed. So whatever, whatever affectation uh, of uh, interest she had assumed. That is, whatever things that she s- things she thought was. Whatever was affecting her interest, let's say. So maybe she... I don't know what was affecting her interest. Mm -hmm. Whatever was her interest... Oh, okay. uh, That she had assumed had left her kindly. And so whatever she was interested in left her face. Yes. Left her kindly and tear-worn face. Tear-worn face means... Tear. Maybe it's tear-worn. Maybe it's crying. I don't know what she's Oh, okay. And it now expressed only anxiety and fear. So it it began from interest... And now it became fear, fear. And sadness, whatever interest, and now fear, anxiety, and fear. Oh, uh, because I don't know. You know, you know, read a little bit. So here, how uh. about my son Boris, Prince? Said she, hurrying after him into the ante room. Oh. I can't remain any longer in Petersburg. Tell me what news I may take back to my poor boy. Oh. So now we heard what she wants. She, this woman, has a son called Boris. Bro, Bro Boris, yeah. And he's asking Prince Valsi probably yeah. for a favor. Favor to what? Favor to for what? To her son. To do what? I don't know. Unless you're going to read forward, we can. Uh, I you're can't read remain. She cannot stay too long. Oh, uh, and she, longer she, in oh, here. Yeah. Tell me what news I may take back to my, my poor, poor boy. boy yeah. Oh, okay. So we will leave uh, whatever will happen next time, okay? Right. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.